So we're about one month away from the Los Angeles Milk Program concluding. This is a pilot program, first time it's ever been done here in Los Angeles. These students came in not knowing anything about the metaverse and now so far we're a month into this project and they have started to learn how to design in the metaverse. It was really gratifying to see how inspired the students were and I think Exponential Destiny is doing a great job of really giving students the confidence that they need in a new technology ecosystem. Students are creating metaverse rooms, virtual environments where young people and teachers can actually come in and have a classroom setting. They go to the two-month design sprint where they learn what the metaverse is, how to build in the metaverse, um, how to use their Oculus 2 headset. This program introduced me to what it was like to download objects into the metaverse and also how to use different kinds of websites. One of the major things that I've noticed with the students here is that they, they really have never had the accessibility to this technology that we're providing to them. I look forward to being able to start downloading images, start creating more environments in the metaverse. So for the LA project, most of the students or all are actually first generation college students. So uh, talking with the teachers and the students, that's what's most important to them. So that's the learning topic we chose. Since our concept is support for first generation college students, that's what that's what we're focusing on. As first gen students, it's really hard for us as we don't have that much resources. So the goal of this is to be able to allow more students to understand what it is to apply to college. So we have community college, private college, Ivy Leagues, and public college. You know, it was amazing to see how these students are progressing and how they're progressing so quickly. Learning from my team leaders was, has been really amazing because they're all really helpful people. And then it's obvious that they both love what they do. And as a student who's learning from them, it's really fun. This new technology is a non-coding coding technology. So these students don't necessarily have to learn a lot of technical functionalities inside the platforms. All they have to really do, really have to get their inspiration from is, you know, anything they see, anything they find. There's tons of uh, companies from a lot of industries right now um, looking for metaverse architects, right? And there's not many, so we're really trying to uh, train as many um, young metaverse architects that uh, we can. I'm more prepared for the jobs in the future. I'm also feel more confident as a student being able to learn something that a lot of people are looking for. And I feel like that's really interesting for me. It's about community. It's about ecosystem building. It's about making sure that there's tangible, evidence-based use of virtual reality and metaverse technologies. As next steps, we really want to expose all the great things that Exponential is doing, all the great things that the students are achieving, and, and help promote that to a global community we want more corporations to get involved in helping support what they do. And one month from now, we're going to host what's called Impact Day. On Impact Day, we host a community event. We invite parents, the students who have been participating in Orthopedic Medical Magnet at Naval College Prep to really to share their ideas. And here at this event, we're going to actually congratulate and showcase the work of all students. And in particular, we're going to emphasize the top three learning experiences. So those three classroom environments that really were able to help young people engage with virtual reality technology and to develop a skill set that is relevant for new economy technology sector jobs. Yeah, I can't wait to see what the students are going to build and develop and, and come forth with in terms of these immersive experiences in virtual reality. So it's going to be great to see how they, they evolve over time.